Because Slim 2 comes with no database component whatsoever, we're going to be looking at including Eloquent, which is an object relational mapper uh, as part of the Laravel framework. So we're going to take that and put it into our Slim project. Uh, first of all, let's just take a look at what we can actually do with this. So just in my browser here, uh, I'm able to pass to a root a username. And in this example, we're just getting back an array, but an array of all of the properties uh, within that row there. So this is the database table that we're going to work with. Uh, we have three users, all have usernames, obviously. And then we have uh, two users with a first name and a last name and one without. So this first method we're going to look at involves uh, creating a new capsule instance, setting our database settings, which sounds a lot harder than it actually is, and then attaching that to our slim container, which we can then use within our roots or anywhere else within our application. And the second method we're going to look at, if we just look at this, this is the first method. The second method we're going to look at is using this directly on our models. So here we did app db, and then we use table where and uh, joined all of these methods on to get the result we wanted. Uh, here we're using the user model, and then we're accessing where and then first as usual. And then what that will allow us to do is use methods on that model. So for example, get full name or username. Here's my user model, it's extending eloquent. And we can go ahead and use any methods on there and then access uh, different values using this and then the column name. So this will give us the following. Obviously, if we switch over to Dale, there's no first and last name there, so we just get the username back. So this can be incredibly useful and it is actually really easy to set up. So we'll head over to writing the code now. We're gonna start with a very basic Slim2 application structure and we'll look at how we build this in. So before we pull Eloquent in, uh, we'll just take a quick look around the structure of the application that we're working with at the moment, just so you can get a good idea of how uh, to go ahead and implement this based on my structure. Yours might be slightly different and that's fine, uh, but as long as you know what we're working with here, it will make it a lot easier to understand. So in the browser then, at the moment, I'm within the public directory, within the root directory where my project is uh, installed. And we're seeing a 404 because we don't have a root for uh, this forward slash page. So don't worry about this too much for now. So as I mentioned, we're in the public directory. Uh, all index.php is doing is pulling in this start file within this app directory. We'll look at that in a moment. And then we're running our slim application. We also have an HT access in here, which is rewriting our URLs, which is in really useful when we're working with root, obviously, otherwise it's not gonna work. So over to start.php then, all I'm doing is requiring, requiring in Composer's autoloader, creating a new slim application, and then I'm requiring in a root, which I've stored in roots users profile. So this root then, all it does is it is a get request to this URL here, so users and then a username placeholder. We're pulling in that variable here. We're using app because we need to access app within this root, and then we can just do anything we want in here. So for example, we just echo hello out. If we say users Alex, we just see hello at the moment. So what we now need to do then is go ahead and pull in eloquent. So we do this obviously within our composer.json file. And it's also worthwhile noting that I am PSR4 autoloading under the composer namespace. And this folder is here and it's in app cocourse. So it's app cocourse. That's just so we can create our models directory and we don't have to uh, require everything that we need in. So we now need to pull in eloquent. If we quickly head over to the packages page for this, you can see we're on version five. So what we can do is we can pull in illuminate database like so, and then we can pull in version five like so. So what we want to do now then is update our composer dependencies that will go ahead and download eloquent for us or the database component of Laravel. 
So now that that's done, we obviously have this installed here and various other dependencies. So we can start to connect up to our database and then inside of start, we're going to add our database connection as a object within our slim container. So what I do then is I create a new file inside of my app directory and I'm going to call this database.php. This is just basically where I'm going to load up my database and give it all my settings and then we can include this within start. So we need to use illuminate database capsule, which is an easy way of pulling uh, these kind of dependencies in uh, manager as capsule. So we're calling it capsule. So we're going to instantiate this. And now we want to add a new connection, which is what's going to actually connect to our database. So we're going to say add connection. We have an add connection method. We pass an array in here and we can choose things like the driver which is going to be MySQL in my case, although it can be uh, whatever you want, whatever supported. We have our host here, which for me is just local host. We also have the name of the database. In this case, it's project. You can see that just here. And for the username and password, for me, I'm just working on my local machine. It's root and root. And we want to also supply a char set as well for our character encoding, which is going to be UTF-8. We have a collation here that we can set. So UTF-8 Unicode CI. And we also have the ability to prefix but I'm not going to choose that, so I'm going to have no prefixing. So now what we want to do is to be able to use this as uh, globally across our application, we're going to set this capsule instance as global. And then what we're going to do is specifically boot eloquent. So that's all we need to do. So now that we're all connected up, we need to make this available uh, within our slim application so we can use it uh, within roots and when we go on to work with models directly uh, this won't matter this is just if you want to use the database functionalities like the, uh, the query builder and not directly attach it to your models but it's worthwhile doing this anyway just in case you need to so the first thing that we want to do then is include this in start.php and then we say app db. We're essentially attaching this to our slim application. And all we need to do here is return a new capsule uh, instance. So now we don't see any difference here because um, we're not doing anything within profile. But let's do a var dump on app db from within here now. And you'll see it looks like we have an error. So let's just quickly turn errors on and refresh. Okay, so class capsule not found in start. Of course, what we do need to do here is import it. So over in here, remember we used this. All we need to do is copy this and just pop it at the top just here. We can get rid of this now because we shouldn't see any more errors. So here we are doing a var dump on capsule and you can see that we've got pretty much what we need out of this. So now what we can do is within profile, we can start to use the query builder to build up a query. So we know that we're getting this username here. We can echo username out here if we wanted to. That just mimics whatever we pass through into the URL. But what we want to do is we want to grab this particular user from our database table. So we're going to say app db, and it has all the functionality now of Eloquent. You can read read up on the uh, Laravel manual if you're not too sure about Eloquent. I assume you are, though, if you're watching this video. And we can select the table. So in this case, it's the users table. Remember, we have this table just here. And we can then say where 
username is equal to username and we can do a var dump on user. Now obviously this is going to give us back an array because we're not working with an object in this case. Uh, we need to use first to grab that record. So we just see an array of four items which is the ID, username, first name and last name. But this isn't great because we don't want to have to keep building up queries every time we want to do things. We want to make things a little bit easier to work with and make our code a lot more efficient, a lot more reusable and just gen gen generally a little bit nicer. So we're going to get rid of this. We already know now how to bring Eloquent into Slim. But what we're going to do is we're going to create a model and see how we do this. So like I mentioned uh, at the start, I'm PSR4 auto loading this app code course directory under the code course vendor namespace. So all I need to do then is mimic this and say code course models, just rename this to models and create a new user model. And that's obviously a class user and we're going to namespace this under code course models. So what we now need to do then is use Eloquent on this model much like we would do in Laravel. So all we do is at the top here we use illuminate database eloquent model and you can say as model if you want to but I tend to just say as eloquent and that way we can extend eloquent and then we get all of the lovely functionality from this ORM. So let's try this out now um, by saying something like user equals user where username and then that username we get back and then let's grab the first record and we'll do a var dump on user. Now obviously this is going to fail because we need to import this at the top here. So we need to say use code course models user and when we refresh now let's just check this out. there we go extends and there we go so we get this model back here perfect so now what we can do is start to implement functionality like get full name or username much like we would do just within Laravel and for example we could check if the first name is empty or the last name is empty and if that's the case we can just return the username otherwise we can return a string with that user's first name a space and then that user's last name so in the profile now we can do a var dump on user get full name or username and there we see that for Dale this will just be the username because she has no first and last name so there we go uh, we have implemented Eloquent into our Slim 2 application we can either use the standard query builder or we can extend Eloquent on our models and then use all of the functionality that Eloquent gives us and it's as easy as that, you now have really great database support within your Slim 2 application.